fighting for that extra chance, and he was rewarded for his effort. And so here's Charlotte. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Well, Willie Green had a few moments to share with us. He said a primary concern is to prevent those easy three-point looks from outside. He said closing out hard on the shooters is going to be the key. If they don't bother the shooters, he said, it's going to be a very long four quarters. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks, David. Devising a strategy to take away that three-point shot. Lock at six. Pass to Jones. That shot, no good. Bridges with some nice defense. Over in the corner, Rozier. Hayward outside. A three ball. That one doesn't go. So the Pelicans will take it the other way. Their last game, a win against San Antonio, looking to carry that into this one. And the way they matched up in that game, it just seemed like everything fell into place for them. So Rozier will bring it up for the Charlotte Hornets. Four-point game. Last time they met was in Charlotte. And their last time against this club, they really fell short at the free throw line. And that's a special play coming from the one spot. You know, his passing can take a backseat for that dunk. Wow. It just shows you the versatility. This guy can do a lot of different things for you. Woo-wee. On the basket by Jones. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rag. And, and where's the help defensively? No excuse. You have to be aware. He should be on your radar all the time. Yep, that one goes in there. And I need to see some more assertiveness out of these defenders. McCollum against Ball, and he gets it to go. McCollum's got a second bucket tonight. C.J. McCollum making the mid-range shot look easy. And the way C.J. McCollum Gray can get a shot up while moving, that's a big part of his game, isn't it? Yeah, very few players can shoot as well as McCollum on the run. Applies for his pull-up jumpers or when he's falling out of bounds. McCollum, one of the best in the league. At. Such a pure score. The defense getting too aggressive on C.J. McCollum. Pelicans shooting their first free throws of the evening. After spending almost a decade in Portland, McCollum has adjusted well to playing in his new surroundings. You know, G.A., he's a fantastic player when he's out on the floor. Missed a lot of games over the last three years. But when he's feeling right, he is a nightmare to defend. Ingram wide open. And a little luck that time, but it drops. Plan to Ingram's strengths. He's most effective when he gets his points within the flow of the offense. And Ball slams it in. I mean, he's just been brilliant today, guys. And it was the same exact story last time out. Jones, the best to McCollum. Back to Jones. Williamson outside. And here's Ingram from the arc. Pelicans keep it alive. Oh, a nice tip in to salvage the points from that missed shot. And those second chance points can add up. Now, here's Ball. He had 31 points in the win against Indiana. Yeah, but I like how he defended as well. You know, he got a couple blocks in that game and just an all-around great effort. The Pelicans trail. McCollum deciding where to go with it. Sweet little floater. McCollum's got seven points in the game. What touch on the floater. CJ is tough to guard when he gets this going. The drive by ball. And good that time. Adding to this lead, he's been dependable and consistent at the offensive end. The Hornets shooting their first free throw of the night. And collectively, they're only about 73% as a unit right now. And the Hornets making a change here. Oubre is checked in. That's good from Ball. Taken third overall in 2020. LaMelo Ball is a unique player. Like his brother Lonzo, very tall at the point at 6'6", and he'd much rather pass it than shoot it. Now here's Jones. He's averaging around five and a half points a game. Here's Ingram. It's rebounded by Charlotte. Can't fault the play call. Even though he couldn't convert, that's a good shot. And he comes up with the deuce. 
<laughs> and Ball is a proven distributor. He's got a real talent for spotting the cracks in the deep. Ball against McCullough. Tries from 10, and that one is good. He's got nine. The handles of C.J. McCollum on full display. Ball from long range. And he was able to put it up in time, but it doesn't fall. Both teams have it going here early and still close through the first quarter. Hornets lead by two. From New Orleans, back in a moment. Enjoying the game, both teams tonight keeping things pretty even so far in the scoreboard. Let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for Charlotte. Establishing a paint presence. 